Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we're going to be talking about another great champion that I do hate to use. And again, as always, the name of the video in itself implies that I do think that these champions are great, they are good, they are helpful, they will save you a unit, they will provide you with answers for problems. I just personally do not enjoy using these champions too much. And I know that in previous episodes I said that our next uh, target on the list, if you will, is going to be Symbiote Supreme, but unfortunately I just don't feel that I have had enough experience with the champion to fully kind of like hate on it, and I don't want to be talking out of my rear end. Therefore, I will talk about a different champion in today's video, and that champion is going to be of tech class, and it's Sentinel. Now, uh, I have had a very complicated... Uh, relationship with this character and again to get the first things out of the way he is a great champion being a robot means he has double immunities uh there's a lots of versatility he's an absolute tank can do great damage has access to incinerate has access to shock has access to heal block to armor break all sorts of good stuff can even regen and so on and so forth uh, has lots of abilities and it shows it shows definitely throughout the content. He's great for every single chapter of Act 6. He did well in 6.1, he did great in 6.2, he does awesome in 6.3 as well, especially on some specific lanes. Uh, he was amazing for Variant 1. He's insanely good for Variants 2 and 3, especially 3, where he gets a special treatment and he's pretty much like a beast as one of the very few champions you need period in order to explore it so there is a lot of usability for this character is what i'm trying to say and uh, it's one of those champions that maybe does not look so impressive on paper but when you take a look at all around game everywhere all the challenging content that's coming out he always somehow finds a good spot to be in he's an extra large champion he's tech champion and so on and so forth, and uh, he has great abilities, so he can bypass a lot of uh, troublesome nodes, access to heal block, damage or time effects, so on and so forth, and he can hit crazy hard. Right, but here is the main problem playing Sentinel, and even with Duke Sentinel, Unduped Sentinel is stuff of nightmares in my opinion, Unduped Sentinel can be so frustrating to amp up, and uh, the main reason why I've never been able to fully enjoy him is because you start a fight with a job to do kind of thing. It's not just hit the opponent, it's not just do X, Y and Z or get to which special attack. You need to ramp him up and that takes time. Building up those analysis charges uh, can be annoying, definitely takes time and is alright to do for a fight or two fights. But uh, when you try to clear like an entire lane, it's hard. Especially if you are up against some tricky matchups where ramping him up might be difficult and you get hit meanwhile or you get KO'd meanwhile and then you have to revive him up, go back in there, start it all over. It's kind of really frustrating. Obviously, you also have a choice of not building him up to 100 analysis charges and just try and clear the opponents as they are. However, at the same time, you have that feeling that you're not using the champion as effectively as you could be, or that you're not kind of getting the best output, which you're not, because uh, the 100% analysis charges make him hit a lot harder, make him a lot tankier, make his all effects and damage or time debuffs last longer, let him retain more power so he can spam more special attacks and make him the great char character that he is. If he didn't have that analysis mechanic, mechanic, and he could not potentially ramp himself up, then he would be a bad champion. <laughs> if you would take that entire thing away, uh, then he would be a horrible champion to use. Simple as that. But uh, since he gets all of his stat increase, power increase, time increase, and damage or time debuffs, then he feels like a tank, then he does a lot of damage, and he's good to play, and he provides results. So you're kind of stuck in between a rock and a hard place where you either have to pick up this massive chore, which is uh, building up these analysis charges every single fight, and it does get incredibly tedious. And it kind of makes you feel that you're not really playing a game, you're like kind of like on a mission, because it more, much more so feels like a job than something you are enjoying. 
or you can play him uh, without building up his analysis charges and then it just feels underwhelming. <laughs> You're wondering why did you bring him in in the first place. Right, uh, when it comes to the abilities, only thing that kind of annoys me to uh, a bigger degree quite often is the fact that he needs to throw two level 3s in order to heal up and that quite often just doesn't happen because the fights finish out too quickly especially if you're running suicide masteries or something so i think that aspect of the abilities is not too well thought out but it's not the main kind of like uh, reason for not liking this champion the main reason definitely is analysis charges the main reason is definitely because it feels like it's a burden and it's been made worse it's been made so much worse by kabam because for last year or so, they cannot fix the bug where opponents launch special attacks while you're hitting their block. And that's kind of deeply affecting Sentinel as well, and that is the times when you kind of feel like grabbing your phone and throwing up against the wall. Because an uh, easier way, or at least one of the ways to build up the analysis charges is striking opponents block repeatedly for 4 hit, dashing back and doing it again. Uh, but uh, since our uh, beloved uh, game creators cannot potentially figure out how to fix the issue with the opponent throwing special attacks whilst you're striking their block pretty much, you often need a special in the face. So you need to be like really careful to make sure the opponent doesn't have a bar of power when you do that, so on and so forth. And uh, it's uh, already frustrating enough experience to try and ramp this guy up quickly and efficiently because uh, obviously you can just bait out the same special attack push opponent special one bait that's five times but that takes quite a bit of time because that means opponent has to launch five special attacks ideally you like to supplement it with uh, striking opponent's block multiple times and building up your charge yourself quicker and then you can typically do it by the time opponent launches like two or three special attacks so it cuts the ramp up time in half but it's also a fairly insecure thing to do now because you often eat uh, some special in the face and that is a big problem i think that is a problem that uh, unfortunately players uh, somehow are just learning to live with because nothing clearly is changing and it definitely is hurting characters like sentinel characters like massacre a bunch of other champions so that is frustrating definitely and all of these things combined, I never look forward to using Sentinel, <laughs> I'll be honest, like, he has put in a lot of work, he continues putting in a lot of work, I'm happy to have this champion for when I need him, but not once, not ever, will he be a champion, I'm gonna be like, okay, yeah, which team I want to bring in, like, you know, in a relatively easy quest, and he's like, oh yeah, I get a chance to play with Sentinel or something, never. Because uh, unfortunately that entire ramp up uh, process is dull, it's boring, boring, it doesn't feel enjoyable. And then when you combine it with the bug uh, or with the new mechanic or I don't know, call it a game feature I suppose at this point because I doubt it's changing. Then uh, it can create for some really, really frustrating experiences. So now, I do think Sentinel's great. I use him, he has helped me a lot, I think he's a great rank up. But at the same time, he's not a champion I ever look forward to playing with. He's not a champion I'm head over heels in love with. He's a champion that I find to be somewhat a necessary evil, something I tolerate, something I know that has performed and will perform. But that's about it. And uh, obviously then there's also the last point that we can talk about is the fact that he's oversized. And that I kind of don't get. Like Now we have big champions in game, we have XL champions in game, we have some massive champions. Why could not they do something uh, storyline wise that they did with Dormammu and present him in a reasonable size or whatever else is meant to be huge, right? Because uh, it's comical it, it makes for great screenshots <laughs> makes for great memes definitely but the fact that uh, pretty much every single opponent up against sentinel is up until his waist it uh, quite often makes it hard to focus and fight and the entire fight feels clunkier because of it because of this oversized uh, image you have in front of you and uh, it's distracting <laughs> even now like multiple years after this champion's released quite often i notice that it throws me off my game and uh, it's a bit weird to play and it uh, 
sometimes gets a smirk out of me, obviously, when pretty much every single opponent's punch lands at your crotch at best, if it's meant to be like a high kick or something like that. And uh, it's distracting, so I really kind of wish they would keep him large, but kind of scale him down a bit to match kind of like the most excel champions without having a need to rescale the opponents to tiny kind of like baby versions of themselves and uh, unfortunately it is what it is but uh, i don't i don't like it i definitely don't enjoy it so this is basically all of the reasons why i don't enjoy playing sentinel the ramp up is tedious it feels like a job we have an active uh in-game feature where opponents throw special attacks in a block when you try to ramp him up quickly and opponents look uh, like childlike versions of themselves so it just makes it awkward I don't think it was a smart decision to make Sentinel as big and uh, yeah that is uh, basically why I think Sentinel is great but why I also never look forward to playing with this uh, pile of junk now, it can't be too harsh on Sentinel, because he is a good... No, I mean, like, you can't... Okay, he looks also like a clunky piece of crap garbage. But, you kind of get used to his own look. Like, he... he I, I do understand that it's relatively comic accurate look and all that, but... I wish I could, like, zoom in on his face. That, 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 uh, that also looks a bit retarded. And look-wise... I suppose it's alright, but he definitely doesn't have the best artwork in the game by no means as well. <laughs> I mean, look at that face. It looks like he's about to take a blowjob. Oh, okay, whatever. Uh, so yeah, that has been the conversation about Sentinel. So now we have to designate a champion for the next episode of Great Champions that I hate to play with. So we're gonna nip out of our tech uh, column and we're gonna take a quick look with the rest of the lot. I know there have been 79 requests for me placing Quake on Great Champions that I hate to play with list, but that's not gonna happen because I like playing Quake. I don't care if you don't. Uh, but uh, with that, we can move on to another Great Champion. As soon as I figure out which one's gonna be. <laughs> great Champions that I hate to play with. Okay, it's time. It's time. I have made a decision. It's time. Next episode is going to definitely ruffle some feathers. Next episode, we're going to be a lot harsher as well because there are uh, no chance in a way if I'm going to this domino that I'm going to be mild about it because, uh, hey, no matter what I say in the video, if I title it, Great Champions, I hate to play with domino, you guys are going to be on my bottom in comment section anyway. So I better have some fun with it. But all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Next episode is going to be coming up within the next couple of days. And we're going to be discussing why I personally have never been a big fan of Domino. Oh boy, that's going to be fun. Uh, see you later, guys.